All right, hey guys. <clears throat> Sorry for the late start. Let's see. Skip some time. There we go. Why is it so zoomed in? So hello, the Dutch guy, Mateo. How's it going? Okay, so... I think the last video we did on here was titled, like, The Last Expedition. And I tried to do that one. Again, before the stream today. I tried a couple of different things people had said. And none of them worked, so... Wait, what? It? Install a portable rig and deliver fuel. Okay, well, let's go back and grab a portable rig, I guess. Oh, it's like stuck on the truck. I was like, why doesn't it let me back up? But it's because I already pulled up forward. Okay. Portable rig. Why does it still not let me... I don't know why I can't track it, but whatever. <clears throat> so how was everybody's uh, weekend, or Easter weekend, if you guys celebrate it? I'm um, doing good, Bryce. How are you doing? Hello all, happy Easter to all. Thank you, Nick. It was great, that's good. We actually didn't celebrate Easter this time, or this weekend, because we it's been like dry all year, and then over the last week we've probably got like 24 inches of snow. So, not exactly good weather to go uh, looking for eggs, but uh, plenty to do it next weekend instead. But now it looks like it's going to rain, but um, yeah, it sounds like we're just going to do it anyways. Rain or shine. I tried to go back to time 12 p.m., but the, the Vatican said no. The Vatican didn't want you to go back in time. Back to the future. So I went to, like I said, I went to the one where we've been having trouble, the last expedition. And I tried to do that one, it didn't work. And I was checking all of the tasks and contracts on there. And basically all the ones we have left, I mean, pretty much all, the, both lists that I looked through, um, they were all in either Dormant Volcano or Unshakable Island, so that's why we're here in Dormant Volcano. Oh shoot, I forgot to buy jack screws and stuff for my trucks again. That's no good. It was almost a flip there. Oh, hello Isaiah. Sorry, I didn't see your uh, comment earlier. But oh, welcome everybody to the stream. I didn't say that really either. <coughs> so it looks like I've already installed the portable rig. Apparently that part's done. I just need to drop off fuel. Ooh, nice. This one has a reusable... Uh, Anchor point. Safety judge, I'll make sure that I judge how safe you are. You're gonna be the 
the safety judge and the hotel receptionist. Ooh, that wasn't very safe. Let's uh, fix up our truck a bit here. I saw a mosquito so big I thought it was Danny DeVito in a costume. Okay. Like, why does this one not allow me? Must have to have a certain person for that one to track. What is this one up here? Pick up the equipment. Okay, here we go. We can do all this one. Visit a few peaks. So yeah, the Azov Adam comes out tomorrow, so that's what we'll be doing tomorrow. And that'll be kind of fun because I was expecting PTS to drop last week. But they still haven't even dropped any, like, teasers for it. So, I'm going to assume that they are dropping it sometime this week instead. Which means the Azov Adam will be out before, uh, or at the same time, maybe. As, um, Season 13 on PTS, so... We can use the new truck on PTS Season 13, which will be fun. Hello, Brian. Back watching another live with y'all. Thank you for stopping in. So yeah, we're... I'm still having trouble with the one expedition. If for some reason it just doesn't want to let me scan for fish in this one spot. I've tried a couple of different things. Everything that people have commented. I tried resetting my... My settings because I had my uh, field of view bigger. I did that right before the stream. I tried switching times. I um, can't remember what else. I had, I had like three or four different comments of stuff to try and none of it has worked so kind of a bummer. How much is the DLC? I don't think they said but I think every DLC that's been a uh, I remember checking this when I made the video. You can go back and check it, Lessons, but... Um, I believe it was between $2.99 US dollars and $3.99 for every single... Uh, what is it? Every single... Uh, standalone DLC, but maybe I have the numbers wrong because I did check for that video. I feel like the... I think it was... The Western White Stars might have been like six dollars or something, but I think it was between three or actually I think it was three ninety nine. I think it was three ninety nine and six ninety nine. Or th I s no, three ninety nine and five ninety nine. I think was the price somewhere between there for every standalone DLC. Hello, Mr. Spoon. What am I... Oh, there we go. I'll be back in five minutes on a different account. Okay. When you see Ingmar Meester. Okay. Yeah, if you want to actually know the, the prices, because I'm just kind of going off memory, I think it's between four and six US dollars. But I did check... Um, when I made that video, I went back and checked all the DLCs on Steam to see how much they all costed. But I believe that was the price, 4 to $6 US. I think 4 is the cheapest for any standalone DLC, and 6 was the most expensive. But, yeah, I, I might be wrong, because I'm just going off what I think I remember. <laughs> You're leaving already, Bryce? Alright, sounds good. You checked the as of Adam this morning. Yeah, it's supposed to be out tomorrow, Bryce. April 2nd is the day.
good old spoon back at it again. Yeah, did you see that, Isaiah? Remember I told you, uh, Mr. Spoon? Alright, looks like we went to the two wrong possible locations. Find a double peak. I guess I can see it from here. I'm not wrong, I think, um... Oh, no, I'm blinking on the name. I think South Bang said he goes back to work tomorrow. He was sick last week, so we'll see if he stops in. I know he had a week or so off. Hello, Marty. Oh boy. I'm in trouble climbing this part. Okay, here we go. Uh, JJ, I wish you fun, and thanks again for helping me with the croc. No problem, Marty. Always glad to help. Uh, speaking of the croc, actually, the crocodile is supposed to be a vehicle that's coming over to Expeditions, or you would think so anyways. They, uh, they had it in the trailer. of the, uh, of the game, when that, or not the trailer, but it was in one of the trailers or screenshots, I remember. So that should be a truck that's coming here eventually. You would think anyways. Ken said, I bought Expeditions a couple weeks ago and I'm loving it. Almost done with Carpathian. Scout 800 was a good addition to the game. Just need some new maps now. Yeah, they should have some uh, some seasons coming out. I don't know when, but they have a year one plan, so there should be at least four. I think, and I might this might have been some of the promotion material, but I think they said that there's supposed to be an underground. something to explore underground in one of these next coming seasons and I remember somebody asked if they're gonna have snow in uh, expeditions and they said for sure not in year one because they're trying to stick to a certain theme so I think it's supposed to be like more uh, desert ish desert ish with like the uh, oops, with like the dinosaurs and cave exploring and sort of that kind of stuff could be wrong though Does this need no crocodile? I thought Esserokin said no snowrunner trucks anymore in expeditions going forward. Uh, he, he sort of said that, Matteo, but what he meant was that, or at least the way I understand it, was that any of the, um, any of the season's trucks would not be from snowrunner. So anything from the seasons that are coming out wouldn't be from SnowRunner, but that he didn't close the door completely on other, like, you know, the Scout 800, just a random release of a truck. So I believe they're still going to be coming out. Okay, running low on gas and a bit of damage. Yeah, I'm trying to climb over this little rock area. I don't know if just climbing right up over is probably the best option. Yeah, maybe, maybe I misunderstood it, but I'm pretty sure. Oh no, that was only a checkpoint. I'll take a photo. Now you got me going backwards? Come on. Yeah, the way that I understood it was, yeah, anything, any of the upcoming season's trucks would not be SnowRunner vehicles. And same with SnowRunner, any of the upcoming SnowRunner vehicles would not be Expedition vehicles. 
So they're sort of um, both getting their own unique vehicles as far as the seasons go. And that was a pretty good roll. Zoom in here. There we go. Only 8,200. All right, what do we have up here? Pick up the rangefinder. I mean, we're fairly close. We can go to here, maybe. You're back. Welcome back. I'm actually kind of tempted just to recover to here and drive up through there. I feel like that might be faster. Oh, wait, what is Volcano Mystery? That We're already close to that. Volcano Mystery. Oh, here it is. Oh, take an echo sounder over there. I can, I can do that. We're right next to it. Um, who was it that said? Oh, Ken Adams. Um, Ken, how far are you with total completion percent? You said you're into Carpathians. I'm assuming you've done. All of the expeditions in uh, Arizona, and then you're working on Carpathians. I've done all the expeditions in Arizona, but I'm still I still got one left that I can't seem to complete here. But we're working on total completion now. Oh boy, another another fish one. Wait, is this a fish one? No, this is just explore the lake. Alright. Okay, one of those had... Oh, here we go. This was a tiny piece right here. Okay, so we found one. Oh, wow, that was most of it. Um, maybe I missed a chunk? Oh, nice. That was pretty lucky, actually. It says we found garbage thoughtlessly dumped into a reservoir, but we also found what looks like looks like a weapon, a historical artifact, maybe. Ooh, we got King of the Hill stickers for that. That was an easy one. Hey, welcome back, sniper. So great views. What is this one? Great views get to looks like three different viewpoints so I think we'll do this one first go to these then we'll recover we can go to these and then these and then maybe recover again and then go up here something like that all right we'll fuel up here we are getting a bit low Fix up the truck. Lake Hank Hill. What? Hank Hill. I know that was from like a TV series. I don't remember what it's even called. I don't really watch much TV. I just realized we totally emptied our roof rack in that. If there's something in my life I love more than my wife, propane. <laughs> well, hello Rex. Long time no see. How's everything been for you, Rex? You're usually here on the daily, so... Kind of wondering what was going on. I know you said you were sick there for a bit. Oh, 
King of the Hill. Oh yeah, that was the name of the show. There we go. I was like, I know it was some kind of a show. I don't remember what it was called. It's kind of funny because when, when you said King of the Hill, I thought that was the name of my task. Because I'm like, I'm supposed to be climbing up to the top of a couple of these hills. Maybe, maybe I'm doing King of the Hill. Current safety score... 84. You're giving me a B? Yeah, I happen to be a pretty good driver, to be honest. I mean, I crashed a little bit, but... Nothing crazy. Okay, so that's it. Just drive to the viewpoint. Uh, what? I think that's where I can start it. Let me check, just to make sure so I don't recover before then. Great views. Get to this point and this point. Okay. Let's recover to here. Let's grab some fuel. Think we're good? Hey, JJ, uh, do you know if you can toggle the HUD on or off in SnowRunner? Um, you can go to immersive mode, which it it takes away everything on the HUD, if, if that's what you're looking for. If you push start, uh, you go to settings, it's on the first page here somewhere. Obviously this is a little bit different, but um, I, I believe it's somewhere on the first page anyways. But yeah, it says immersive mode. And if you turn it on, that will take away everything on your HUD for SnowRunner. I think it's it's obviously set to default, uh, or it's obviously set to off, or the default is set to off. Sorry, I can't talk. But welcome, Novell. Besides the rollover, yeah, kind of forgot about that one. Yellow Expeditions Runners. Hello, Pablo. Oh. Well, it's a good thing I already got my safety score in. I got a I got a B on the test before uh, before the final. You've been disconnected from YouTube for a while. I feel like your videos have shown that. Oh, okay. Take the O-S-H-A, the OSHA. Uh, guy to lunch, change my mind, you're good. <laughs> See, Lessons knows what's up, it's a little bit of bribery. Okay, how... Oh shoot, probably the easiest way to go would be right up there. The climb right behind me. Okay, let's back it up. Still haven't got year four for SnowRunner. Oh, you're not done yet? You're supposed to be done. You already gave me a rating. Hello, JJ. Do you think co-op will make these missions too easy? I don't... I don't think so. I mean, they're already... I would say they're already kind of easy. For the most part, but... I think the co-op would just make it more enjoyable. You're just kind of messing around with your friend, you know? Watching him roll his truck flipping down the hill and that kind of a stuff. I mean, I guess it could make it easier because you could have your friend go to one area. Like, for this one, he could go to one viewpoint, you could go to another one, and that would, you know, make that a little bit easier or faster, I guess, but... I guess it could also make it easier if you if you flip instead of having to drive out your own truck they can flip you over faster, but I wouldn't say it'll make it drastically easier, no. Alright, now we gotta go to one more. This one here, okay. 
You said current, not final. Oh, current safety score. Oh boy. Co-op would be more enjoyable if it had a super simple text box you could send messages in instead of using your lights to communicate. They did say that co-op on here is going to be better than SnowRunner, so I don't know really what better means, but I would assume they would at least put something like Bob was talking about, where you can somehow communicate without Morse code, flashing lights, and honking horns. Although it was kind of funny to play with people and then flash your lights and honk your horns, no knowing that they have no idea what you're talking about. Hello from Poland, welcome back. How's it going today, Bruno? Uh oh. I think I just cut my back end on it. There we go. It'd be cool if there was voice chat, but everyone has a radio filter. Oh, sort of like a, like a trucker's radio, like a CB radio or whatever. Hope they had a hard mode option for... or... sorry. Hope they had a hard mode option for co-op. Where you really need each other. See, I'm, I'm trying to imagine a, a way they could do it that would actually make it harder, like you said, that where you'd actually need the person, and I can't really... I mean, maybe I'm closed-minded, but I can't really think of a way they would be able to make it... Unless they've made, like, certain maps that would basically just be for co-op, like... I don't even know how you'd do that, but, you know, maps where you have to climb, like, a super steep cliff or something, and you'd maybe need a partner, but then again, you do have the, uh... Oh shoot, I was supposed to go back again. Way over here. Uh, but then again, they already have the... Um, the uh, pull, push and pull mechanic on the uh, trucks. Plus the anchors. Which, you, you know, normally if it was SnowRunner, you'd need another truck out there, but... This one you can just throw out the anchor and kind of climb up or down, so... I'm not really sure how they how they would make it uh, to where you would need people, but... They did say they're going to add a New Game Plus or hard mode. They didn't... or I guess somebody asked if they would add one or the other, and they said yes. Um, so I, you don't know which one the yes was for. Maybe it's for both. I would assume for both, but... Um, yeah, it, hard mode or new game plus, one of the two will be coming, or possibly both. So hopefully that answers your question about hopefully making the game harder for co-op. You could maybe play on normal mode for a uh, single player, but then in co-op, change, uh, you know, have a separate playthrough for on hard mode or uh, new game plus with different rules. Hello Lonnie, welcome to the stream. I am doing well, thank you. How are you doing today, Lonnie? And the Scout 800 is much more stable on here than in SnowRunner. I was saying, <laughs> I said this last time at the end of the video, I was like, yeah, I don't think I've flipped it yet. And then I proceeded to like flip it three times because of my terrible driving. But it wasn't, uh, it wasn't the truck's fault, it was definitely operator error. I was driving a bit crazy, but yeah, the, the vehicles overall... What is this? Okay, we'll have to do that later. We'll go go get this last checkpoint here. Um, yeah, the vehicles overall just feel like heavier or more grounded, less floaty, um, better suspension. I'm not sure exactly how you want to describe it, but the vehicles drive better in my opinion on here than in SnowRunner. I remember the like the, when, when the game first came out, pretty much everybody that I watched had said the vehicles just feel heavier. So that's kind of the main the main thing you realize right when you start. 
Oh, we got TM2 tires. Nice. I don't even know what trucks those are for, but I'll take it. Um... Bribing, hmm? Yeah, the safety score, 80B. I had to remove a point for bribing. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. The bribery's gone the other way. Maybe I didn't bribe you with enough money. Hmm. You know, if you give them too low of a bribe, they'll just reject your offer, throw you in jail. So, I gotta, I gotta up my game here. Bribe the safety instructor. Alright, so let's follow this one. Collect flowers. Oh, they're right in front of me. Okay. Literally right here. Uh, did they add more contracts with the update? Or are you just finishing tasks and uh, upgrades? Uh, task, contracts, and upgrades. As far as I know, anyways. And where do we gotta take this now? Deliver to the Hermit. Where is a oh, way up there? Okay, let's recover back to here. Skip some time as well. The new update for Construction Simulator allows you to sit and wave with your character now. Nice. That's funny. Yes, Isaiah? My bribe is pastrami sandwiches. Uh, Pablo, can you bribe? Bribe Isaiah here. He's he's the safety instructor. He's not taking my bribe. I'm gonna open every video with a wave. Uh, there's a guy that I used to watch. Who, uh, if you guys, some of you guys know the game uh, Ark Survival. Uh, he used to start every video with a wave in there, and it was kind of like. You know, when you first watch it, you're like, oh, that's kind of dumb. But then, like, after a while, you kind of, like, you get used to somebody's, like, sort of intro or whatever, like, how they start. And, uh, yeah, it's kind of like, oh, he forgot to wave this time, or, you know, whatever. Like, you, you kind of expect it, but, you know, the new people are just kind of, like, lost. Speaking of Ark Survival, Rex, you should, you'd probably like that game. I know we've talked about it before dinosaurs I'm having a heck of a time getting the pug any suggestions on what truck to tow it back with so I didn't really have much of an issue but I kind of got lucky that the third truck I found was the Tatra Force uh, I can show you the way that I went with it but this game's kind of weird in the fact that it doesn't allow you to check other maps when you're on one map, so the only map I could show you is Dormant Volcano, which is the one we're on. But I went up and over kind of the first main part where you're at, and then I followed the, if you're looking at the map in the normal orientation, followed the left bank all the way around. I wouldn't bribe if I were you. Please don't like. Oh, I, I was just joking. Maybe if we're in a, a certain other country where it's rampant, you might be able to get away with it, but here it probably wouldn't work. It'd probably just get you in more trouble. Oh, wow, that's still a long distance away. Don't take any damage for the next minute. And I will move your score up. Okay, how's this? We're just watching the birds fly. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I would not do that. That was long enough to sit for me. Police love pastrami sandwiches. Ooh, did you hear that, Isaiah? 
You're supposed to love pastrami sandwiches. Purdy landscape. I just like that there's no roads. I don't know why. I find it a lot more fun. Just kind of driving your own route. Well played. <laughs> Alright, do we think we can sneak around here? Kinda looks like it. Oh boy. You cheeky little... <laughs> Nobody... No, no safety instructor said anything about moving the vehicle still. Actually, no, you didn't, Papo. So, I thought we were going to launch the rocket, but we had some issues. We tipped over the rocket. We also got... Um, so, I had to clear one last blockage that I figured I would just clear and then move the rocket through. I cleared the block... Well, I kind of got stuck clearing the blockage uh, across the river, and then I had to go up and around to get my vehicle out, and... I got the, the rescue vehicle even more stuck than the, the main vehicle. So we got the main vehicle out, but then the rescue one was stuck. And, uh... Yeah. Then I had to bring out another tr truck to rescue that one. And so, yeah, the rocket's... Um... Most of the way there, but it definitely didn't get delivered yet. We got... We had a little bit of a, an issue, but now we're... Should be good to go. Okay, emergency reserves medium. Very nice. You tipped over a what? I tipped over a rocket. What is these? Notable locations. Find a hermit's house. <laughs> well, I, I found the hermit's house, but I can't track this one. I don't know why. For certain ones of these... It doesn't allow you to track it unless you have the correct, like, person. What is this? Oh, a Ford? How about this one? Continue to research. Here we go. Pick up a rangefinder. Let's go back and do that. We're close to that one. It's kind of funny because the roof of his house looks like a legit roof on a house, but then there's just like nothing. I mean, there's a cabin kind of built under it, but it looks like it's way too short. It's supposed to be a, you know, a hermit's little shack. I thought he meant Starlink launch. Yeah, the rocket, uh, if you know, if you know the map of Cosmodrome, we're, we're just across the river. So we have to cross the river, go up the icy road, which I'm not really sure if we'll be able to haul that thing up the icy road or not. I might, like, you know, usually I, I think I used chains in the past. But we gotta go up the icy road. And... wait, do I gotta go up here? No. Yeah, I gotta go up the icy road and then make a turn. And, uh, kind of follow that path around to the launch site. So we're not too far away, but we still have the river crossing is going to be pretty rough. I think climbing the icy hill is going to be rough. After that, maybe it'll be okay, but we still got some hard times ahead is what I was trying to say. But we definitely didn't deliver it. I thought I would, but we didn't. Hello, Super Kiwi. Hello, Chicago Gamer. Good afternoon. How are you guys doing? Welcome to the stream. What am I doing hard mode again? Uh, I'm not sure, because tomorrow we're going to play around with the Azov Adam. And I'm assuming season... Ooh, we got Justin Goodman here. Let's follow this. Looks like we got a climb right up here. Um, season 13 on PTS should be out here pretty soon. I th thought probably last week. I'm thinking maybe this Friday now. Normally they release a teaser a day or two ahead of time, and there's been no teasers yet. So... 
Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking probably by the end of this week, maybe in the next day or two or three, they'll release a teaser and then release the uh, update after that, but... I mean, it could be could be as early as tomorrow if they wanted to... <coughs> excuse me. If they wanted to launch it the same day as the Azov Atom. But I think we'll probably take a few days break from the hard mode. We'll probably play some Season 13 uh, PTS when that comes out. But if it's just the Azov Atom tomorrow, maybe we'll play with the Atom tomorrow and then be back to hard mode on Wednesday. So it kind of depends. You're still mopping up North Carolina? No time lately? Well, I think you still got at least like six, seven weeks probably. Normally they're on PTS for six weeks, so probably got about seven weeks or so I think before uh, season 13 will drop for, for everybody so I wouldn't worry too much about it okay range finder now where do we got to go continue the research drop it off here that's pretty close to here let's just recover yeah here we go eastern outpost I stole all the fuel out of there, okay. Okay, Osha is chill now. Osha's fine with my driving skills so far. I've been pretty good for the last, uh, well, most of the stream actually, because I forgot I didn't equip, um,. I didn't equip jack screws or anchors, so I have to kind of drive drive nicely. JJ doing what he does best. Good afternoon, sir. Thank you. Uh, speaking of launching a rocket, I'm going to be starting the launch pad in Construction Simulator. Nice, Rex. That uh, Spaceport DLC must be pretty long then. You've been playing that for a long time. <laughs> It's been out for what, uh, November, so December, January, February, March, well, four and a half months. Hello Blaine, welcome to the stream. What did you miss so far? Uh, we've just done a couple of smaller things. We had to deliver some flowers. Um, what else did we do? Visit, visit a double peak at the volcano. Oh, you put the score back to 100. I mean, I feel like an 80, 84 was pretty accurate. 100, that's that's overshooting it. I've definitely definitely been worse than 100. But if you're if you're talking about the last like 10 minutes, then I'll take it. All right, let's bring the time back again here. Does this game have manual save or auto save? Um, it has auto save. It'll pop up on the right hand side, just like Snowrunner, and say saving. I'll, I'll try and point it out if I remember it when it happens. Alright, gotta go to the left here. Delivered the rangefinder. Got Justin Goodman. There we go. Okay. You've just over 50 hours in the spaceport. Nice. Close to finishing Amir then? Nice. The rocket mission was really cool. Um, not really, actually. We're only 50%. But I wanted to complete everything... Basically as, as much as we could with the first couple of regions. Actually, let's just stop this and switch to a different vehicle. Let's try and find something else to do. Um, wait. Let's go the AFIM. What is this one? Top up. Okay, we tried that one earlier. More values. Can't track that either. What about valuable shard? Okay, let's go do that one. Uh, yeah, we're at, I believe, 50%. I think we're done with 51 maybe 52 missions out of 103. So we're like almost 50% exactly. I think we might be just slightly over. Last time I checked we were 50, but I think we might be 51. 
It's either 50 or 51. I, would, I don't even think it'd be 52, but I guess between 50 and 52. But... Um, yeah, we did... So we did everything in Erska. Er, well, I guess I'll, I'll just like, kind of explain it how we started it. We did Erska about maybe 70% or something. Well, okay, we, we started out... We rushed straight to uh, Cosmodrome to get the 605R, then we got the Sentinel. And then we, we started doing most of Urska, we probably got like 70-80%. And then I decided like, oh, I should probably go back to uh, Northern to finish that off. Because that's kind of the farthest one, like you have to go from Northern to Urska River, and then to Cherno, and, or, uh, and then to Cosmodrome, and then to Cherno. So I was like, let me get the furthest one away, which is, uh, um, well, not the furthest one away, but the furthest, like, back, if that makes sense. Because the way that the contracts work is you slowly progress, you get towards Cherno, right? You, you go to Cosmodrome and then you get into Cherno. So we did all of Northern Aegis installation now. That's 100% complete. And then we did all of, uh... We did all of Erska River. That's 100% complete, so... We still have to do both Cosmodrome and uh, Chernakomensk, but those are the two easier of the of the four, in my opinion. We do have a lot of cargo for, like, Block Alpha, Beta, and Gamma, but... Overall, I think once we get the rocket delivered and complete, like, Medio Point and a couple other uh, harder ones, it should be pretty smooth sailing the rest of the way, so... Yeah, we got the hard stuff done in a mirror on hard mode, which is nice. Doesn't the new Azov truck come out tomorrow? Yes, it does. April 2nd, tomorrow. Probably, if I had to guess, it'd probably be early in the morning, my time, like 7 a.m., something like that. You applaud me for doing a mirror hard mode? I keep thinking of what I think I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna delete one of my old saves uh, and start another hard mode. I was really thinking about today. I'm just not sure which which one I would want to do. I'd either want to do like a, an all scouts playthrough, which would be like really tough. I mean, it's, it's actually impossible because you need some trucks to deliver certain cargoes, right? Like to deliver uh, any any of the logs, you'd have to have a bigger truck, or for even the big trailers, you'd have to have a bigger truck. But um, I think an all scouts or an all small trucks playthrough or an all highways trucks playthrough would be f any of those three would be really fun obviously all three of them would be pretty challenging on hard mode but i think they'd be fun cosmo and Cherno are quite easy in my opinion just a lot of work exactly the overall terrain is much easier it's just a lot more driving but i mean the driving isn't tough so it's it's a much easier JG, have you seen any of the highway hauling region? Um, I watched part of your video. I think it, or no, I think it was a live stream. I think I, I think I stopped by one of your live streams, uh, doing the highway hauling for a little bit, like a week and a half ago, maybe. But no, I don't really watch much. Uh, oh boy, find an artifact. What about this? Mostly? Okay, what about this arm? Nice. Apparently we found a long-awaited artifact that all historians are after. I recommend immediately informing the archaeologists about this so that they can benefit from it. Okay. I'm just joking with you for April Fools. Real safety will start next stream, okay? Hey, yeah, everyone. Sorry, bad boy gamer. Uh, I didn't see that. I'm still trying to read back up to the chats here. Um, sick for one month and two days. That's crazy. Bought a new game yesterday called Under a New Sun. It's out on Steam. Is it pretty fun? I've never heard of it. Oh yeah, you did pop in for a bit. Yeah, I think I was watching my brother's kids and I wasn't able to stay very long. If I remember right. I was going to ask what you think of it, but you haven't seen much, so can't really say, I guess, yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I think I watched you for like 10 minutes or so. I don't even remember how long it was, but it was pretty short. 
I started watching you. And I was watching my brother's kids. They were already sleeping, but um, he texted. I, I thought he would be home later, and they're like, "Oh yeah, we're just finishing up now. I'll be home in an hour or something, whatever it was." Or no, actually, I think they were already on the way. And he's like, "Yeah, we're we're in town. Can you put the dogs away? We'll be home in like ten minutes, so the dogs don't bark." And I was like, "Oh, okay." So I think I, I only had like ten minutes or something there. I keep pushing the wrong buttons. Oh, you have not played yet. Okay. You'll have to play it and let me know how it is. Alright, I think I am caught up here. Yeah, I think we're all caught up. Alright. I don't know if it's... It's probably popped up with the saving icon. I just haven't noticed it yet, but I'm now I'm kind of trying to watch still. I feel like I should go to the right here. Yeah, probably should go this way. Looks pretty clear. That would be the way to go. Hey, Sal Fang, how's it going? You feeling any better? What's better, SnowRunner or Expeditions? In my opinion, I like SnowRunner better. I, I like delivering stuff. Like, so I do like to explore a region for the first time. Like, when they first come out on PTS, I don't look at PTS uh, Discord for, like, two, three, maybe four days. I like to find it on my own. So, um, I, I do enjoy kind of scouting it out, sort of like what this game is mostly, uh, you know, scouting. So I do enjoy it, but... The things I enjoy the most are hauling the big trailers and then just overloading hauling a bunch of cargo. So my, you know, two of my probably three favorite things aren't in this game. I mean, I prefer SnowRunner, but, you know, that's just my, my personal opinion. If this game had deliveries, I might go with this. I like the way the trucks drive a little bit better in here. I like not having the roads, the tire deflation, um, the push and pull winch. There's a lot of good things about this game, but I really like, because right now I've been kind of switching back and forth. I just, it's it's a good change up from SnowRunner. You know, it's not the same thing every time. I mean, same game, I should say. But yeah, I enjoy both, but this one is, Definitely more of a, a change of pace game. It won't be my my main game. Snowrunner is just to me more fun. You just woke up from a four hour nap and you feel better. Oh nice. I know you were saying you were sick, was it last Friday? Thursday, Friday, something like that? Is today your last day off work, or is that tomorrow your last day? I remember you said something about April 2nd. Heading out now, JJ. Have a good rest of your night. Thank you, Rex. You as well. Okay, let's follow this. Explore the area. Is this the area, or am I... Going crazy. This is quite the screenshot here. I gotta take a picture of this one. Yeah, had a cold, cold all week. Back in the office tomorrow. That's a bummer. I had a cold last Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And finally started feeling better yesterday. And now I feel back to normal today. But Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, I remember saying... Thursday and Friday stream, I didn't feel too great. Wednesday, I don't think I said anything, but I wasn't feeling too great either. Wow, that's pretty cool. Let's see if we can... See this. Oh, it's going in.
Man, that looks so awesome. No matter which way you look. That's crazy. I think we'll just take a few pictures here. Which one do you guys like the best? Number one, number two, number three. I'm not trying too hard, we're just kind of taking pictures, but or maybe number four. Thought you were going to dive off the cliff? Hey, who said I won't? We gotta go get a valuable shard out of the pile of metal. So, just for you, Super Kiwi, we're gonna dive this. We're gonna dive off of here. This one's all for you. All right. We gotta get some speed up because we don't want to just fall off the cliff. We want to go. We want to go fast. We want to be Ricky Bobby in this thing. Number four. Oh, that is dope. Expeditions with the bird frozen in mid-flight. Yeah. Yeah, I did see that one right up above us. Don't fall off, says Papo. Well, we're not going to fall off. We're going to purposely drive off. This game looks really good. All right. I think that's enough. Yeah, we'll go down a little bit. Get a little bit of speed. Make sure you get the valuable shard, not the unvaluable one. Oh, shit. I tried to upshift like SnowRunner. Here we go. Here we go. Speeding up. And hopefully we can stick the landing somehow. Oh, man, that was a terrible landing. <laughs> yeah, I mean... I guess it, it was kind of a stick, right? To be honest, we didn't really take that much damage either. Like, that was... pretty close to best case scenario as far as landing. I think we only took, like, what, 30? Definitely the faster way down. <laughs> do a backflip. Time for a JJ special. I wish I could do a backflip. That would've been cool. I mean, I, I was hoping for some more speed to really fly off the edge there and... maybe land a little bit further out, maybe flip a little bit more, kind of spin, but I'll take it. 6 out of 10? Yeah, I agree. Wasn't really much special there. I mean, it was a decent, decent, decent fall, but could have been much better, so. I think 6 out of 10 is a, a great, like, a accurate score. I actually came back. You still remember me? Yeah, I remember you, Leo. You were working on your bike last time I knew, right? It's been, what, two months? I actually don't, I don't know how long it's been, but 10 out of 10 for effort, though. Thank you. I did try. Seems like the chucks are more durable in this game. That is true. It does seem like that, doesn't it? Alright, now we gotta go across the river, looks like. To... There. Deliver to the barge, okay. Seven. Seven out of ten, okay. I mean, maybe, maybe it's just me, but... I don't know, I feel like 6 is pretty accurate. I feel like 7's a little bit too high, even. But I'll take a 7. Sort of like Isaiah said earlier, when my driving score was 100, I'm like, eh, I feel like that's a little bit high, but I'll take it. Do the bodies of the truck get physical deformation from damage, like in SnowRunner? Yes, they do. But it's... It's been... I don't know, maybe it's just me, but it's been a little bit harder to damage them just because you're usually not in a spot for too long, but... Oh yeah, you can you can kind of see, right, this, this bumper. It's pretty messed up. But like one time I, I, I landed on the left side of my truck and the whole side was like caved in. It's kind of hard to show this off, but... This side looks a little bit more dented right here, compared to this side. This side looks more straight. 
This side looks like it took a big smack right here. A wee bit crumpled there, lad, yeah. Three point six out of five. Not great, not terrible. Seven for the roll, okay. Yeah, I mean the roll was pretty good. I was hoping honestly I was hoping it would smash the front end and kinda of bounce. And it just kinda of stuck and sort of turned over, but it was a pretty good roll, it landed on its feet, so for sure it's gotta be up there. Five out of ten. Yeah, probably one to two months. That was you that was working on your bike, right? Remember, next stream, real safety will begin. And bribes, hmm? The next stream, we'll be using the Azov Atom in SnowRunner. That comes out tomorrow. So we'll be giving that a try. We'll put it through with some tests. Nothing crazy. I'm not like... I'm not, I'm not the person who needs to be like super accurate. I kind of just try it out and see, okay, yes. You know. Does this a little bit better? Does that a little bit better? It's not like they have to have the same starting point and... I guess I'm kind of more of a... I'd be like the, the person in the kitchen who's cooking and they don't measure anything, they're like, yeah, that's about enough flour. Looks like a cup, right? Something like that. Doesn't have to be exact. Sorry, JJ. I gotta go for a meeting now. Thanks for the bit of relaxation. See ya later. Okay, we'll see you later, Matt. Thanks for stopping in, as always. Have a good rest of your day if you don't come back, which... Kind of never know what those meetings it seems like. Could be uh, could be a half hour, could be a two hour. But yeah, thank you for stopping in. See you again soon. That was you on the bike. Nice. So my memory serves me right. A new Azov? Oh my, yeah, there's going to be a new Azov coming out tomorrow, but it's, uh, it's a... Uh, what is it called? Standalone DLC, so more than likely it'll be I think four to six US dollars, so I don't know what that equates to in other currencies, but something around there. I was hoping for a Dukes of Hazard landing, that would have been awesome. Here we go. More stickers. Okay. All right, what is this? We drove right past it. More valuables? Scan the lake. Okay. I mean, the, the warthog is actually fairly close to there. Let's try and use the warthog again. He'll message about the safety later. Is that supposed to be an, an, a Russian no? Niet? Oh, you meant to say in SnowRunner, gotcha. swampy area here.
It means no in Russian? That's what I thought you were trying to say. You're a back cell thing, okay. Well, this looks easy. South, all three of them right away. See, that's what the minigame should be, not where you have to, like, search around for 15 minutes for stuff you can't even see. Okay. Bear Claw. Oh, that's Unshakable Island. Oops. Okay. Unshakable Island. And Unshakable Island. So I think all the rest of these, that's Unshakable. We'll go down. Unshakable. Unshakable. Or they can't track. One of the two. Can't track. Can't track. Can't. Can't. Oh, that one we can. Slip Rock Swamps. Okay, so we'll probably have to go to Slip Rock Swamps quick. Let's see what else we got. What is this called? True Professionals? Sorry guys, I think each of these you need different... Unpredictable weather. Okay, that's in Slip Rock as well. I think for these you need different people. That's also Slip Rock. Uh, sunken treasure. So we got a couple things there. Slip rock as well. Well, I got a lot of them in there. You need different uh, experts or whatever. Oh, here we go. Pick up candles. Where are these candles at? Oh, no way. All the way up there? I was already up there earlier. All right, well, I guess we'll go do that before we leave. Let's grab a different truck. Let's use the Scout 800. Wait, do I not? I don't have it, do I? Dang it. For now, lads, goodbye. All right, sounds good. Let's, uh, let's go to this one. Should make things a little bit easier. Yeah, I thought I had the Scout 800 with us, but I forgot I put the uh, Tatra Force in this time. Uh, so that I could explore the... use the radar unit. How fast is the day-night cycle on this one? Similar to SnowRunner? I think so. I actually haven't paid attention to it. I've never gone all the way through the night. Because every time I've played this game, I've been streaming it. I pretty much don't play games off-stream usually. I mean, if I do, it's it's for videos, so... Basically, anytime I'm playing, you guys are watching it. Or can watch it. But yeah, honestly, I'm not sure. I would guess about an hour, about a half hour night, half hour day. Here. Let's, uh... Let's track it. You, you can start a timer. Let's see. So... One more click, it'll be uh, 10, no, 7 a.m.? No, 10 a.m. Okay, so... Or 7 a.m., never mind. I guess maybe it's different in some spots. Oh, no, it's just add six hours. Yeah, I don't know, it's a couple of, s oh, wait, a couple of seconds for every, uh, every minute in-game, it looks like. Maybe like a three seconds or a minute or so, something like that. When do you think season 13 PTS for SnowRunner will come out? Or wait, when do you think that PTS for SnowRunner will come for season 13? Oh, I thought it would be here last week. That was my guess for about a month and a half or two months. So, and it also seems like usually a day or two beforehand, the Sorokin has been posting a picture of something. Could be somewhere on the map, could be the vehicle, you know. Um, kind of a sneak peek, sort of. But we haven't got that yet, so I would say it's probably at least two days, three days out. I'm thinking this Friday now, because the last couple have been on Fridays. Thanks for showing, you're welcome. Is that Azov Snowrunner, or er, is that Azov for Snowrunner that's coming tomorrow? Yep. 
There's a new Azov coming tomorrow to SnowRunner. Azov Adam... What was it? 670963N or something like that? If I just nailed that, I'm going to be impressed. I got to check the numbers afterwards. What did I say? 670963N. For some reason that sounds right. Back to the hermit's shack. Oh, almost rolled it. Oh yeah, you think you're probably going to buy it? Yeah, nice. I think I had a couple people ask me if it was free. And we've only had one free DLC on this game ever, so... If it was free, I would be extremely surprised. It is a DLC truck that's not licensed, so... I suppose there's a greater possibility of it, but... I just can't really see it. So... I would give it like a 0.5% chance. So like one out of every 200 DLCs they release, maybe it would be free. I'd say there's a 99.5% chance that it's paid. But there is a small possibility, I suppose. They've done one free DLC, so... You can even see my trail of, like, crushed grass and stuff right up in front of us. I'm in trouble climbing this hill. There we go. Okay, we got candles. Candles are going back here. Not too far away. This map looks like Red Dead Redemption 2. A really cool environment. Oh yeah, it kind of does, doesn't it? I never really thought about that, but it kind of does look like the uh, some of the more mountainous parts. When I first read your comment, I was thinking of uh, Arizona, and I was like, yeah, it does kind of look like the desert, you know, down in, uh, I guess in Red Dead 1, down in Mexico, or Red Dead 2. Kind of, I mean, it's not as desert-ish in Red Dead 2, because it doesn't go down as far, but... You want another Mac or Kenworth? That would be cool. Switch, switch the truck for a horse and we're there. <laughs> yeah. All right, 300 meters, not too far. Does anybody want to take a random shot? We'll, we'll take a couple of uh, random shots, I suppose, but... Uh, random shot in the dark at where we're at with... Percentages for... Arizona or Carpathians, or... I guess you could say total completion, but I have to back all the way out, so... We'll probably just leave it to those two. We have... 
36 out of 37 um, expeditions done in Carpathians and 37 out of 37 in Arizona. I think Arizona, we're still missing like 25 upgrades or so. Probably about the same, probably more here because we have a little bit less done. Yeah, I did try it again before the stream today, uh, Spoon. I tried a couple of different suggestions. I can't remember what uh, what other people had asked me to try. Uh, but the one that I tried today before the stream was... Switching my settings back to default to see if the fish spawn in the water. And I did that, and it didn't work. Okay, I think we're pretty much done. Oops, start tracking fairy tales. That's Unshakable Island. That's Unshakable. Most of these I can't track. I think I need different different people to track them all. Slip Rock. So yeah, we gotta go to either, I believe, Slip Rock Swamp or Unshakable Island. So let's get out of here. Um... Yeah, return to headquarters, 59,000. So that was a free roam session. We... I don't think we even spent any money. We just picked up those anchors, the uh, reusable anchor and jack screws. Portable rig was free. Tasks seem to pay, pay pretty well in this. Yeah, they do. Uh, let's see... Yeah, we could go to Slip Rock. Let's go to Free Roam. You really have no clue. Don't know how the percentages add up in this game. Uh, well, they have like 200-ish upgrades. They're split pretty evenly across the two. They have th 37 expeditions in both regions. Hey, it looks like we have 45 out of 45 upgrades for this one now. Still missing two here, two here, two here, four here, two here, three, three... Getting pretty close to getting almost all the upgrades for our trucks. Actually, here, let's just check what we are in total completion. We'll back out. Take a guess. 66%, so we're two-thirds done with the game now. Let's see, we'll do a free roam. Uh, we'll, we'll do... Well, I didn't want to do that one, but... Yeah, whatever, I'll just take it off. Crap. Put it right back on. We'll use this one. We'll use the kind of smaller trucks again. Let's throw on the Yar. So the Acteon, and... What was the last one? The Warthog. Actually, instead of the Yar, let's throw on... Um... The new Scout 800. There we go. Let's throw a few of these on. For each truck, that way... You can drive like a crazy man. 66% on how many hours? I have no idea. I was tracking it for a while. I would guess about 50, 55 maybe. I think the last time I, I stopped tracking it, I was at like 42 and I've probably done like three or four streams since. So probably at around 50, maybe close to 60, somewhere in there. Oh, what does this guy do? Uh, repair points, repair parts from resources, binoculars. You're back. Welcome back, Isaiah. 
<laughs> the blue rims on the Scotty Hunter look cool. Yeah, you can change them. I just thought they kind of went with the, uh... They kind of went with the blue and green. Um, let's see if I can... Customize... The rims. Yeah, you can get the, you can get the normal looking ones. These two are, are the two from SnowRunner, but then you got the blue or red, but I just feel like the blue kind of fit the truck. Like, I mean, I guess the red would kind of go with the fuel cans on top, but the blue just kind of went with it. So I never change the colors of my tires. I pretty much just stick with chrome, but I felt like this one actually kind of fit. So hey, Brandon, doing well today. How are you doing? Let's see. I think we'll just, we'll use the three people I never do, so, um, logistician, let's do her. Looks like I'm taking the all-girl team. And managers. Makes a discount on the items you purchase, your balance will be recalculated. Okay. Didn't know that, but that's cool, I guess. So I pretty much, let me take this girl off for a second. Um, I, oops, I normally use a hydrologist, a Jaeger, and an operator, so now I'm going with a mechanic, logistician, and manager. And hopefully that allows us to do a couple of the contracts or tasks that we don't... I can't even see anything else around here. Actually, you know what, whatever, we'll put one there. We'll put one here. All right, so. Looks like we can't, oh, here we go. Unshakable Island, wait. These are all Unshakable Island, no. I thought I had a couple here. Here we go, oh, it's Dormant Volcano. That's the one we were just at. That's Dormant Volcano as well. Okay, so here we go. We can do this one. Let's go do that. What truck is here? What truck did I move? Acteon, alright. I'm off to bed now. Gotta work in the morning. Have fun. See you next time. Sounds good, Super Kiwi. Thanks for stopping in, as always. Have a good rest of your night. And hopefully uh, see you again soon. Alright, I remember somewhere around here there was a path across. This looks like it must be it. Not too bad. Now we gotta try and climb up through the mountains here. Oh yeah, I was gonna check, uh... Oh yeah, it's profile. Not bad. Profile... 78 and 77. Wow, we're basically tied. We got six tasks in Arizona and five in Carpathians. Along with 17 upgrades and... 19 upgrades to find. Jeez. That's still so many upgrades. 36 upgrades left. It just seems kind of crazy to me. We've found like 180 upgrades and we have 36 to go. No. 
found 170 of 36 to go. I think to be exact, we found 169. I think that's 169, 36, 205. Okay, do I want to go over this? Probably yes. Let's go this way. Brandon, you're doing good. Thanks for asking. Yeah, you're welcome. How is your uh, how's your uncle doing now? Oh, actually, he just sent another chat. Hang on a second. I uh, just got word that my dad's twin brother, Uncle Lonnie, will be able to go home from the hospital on Wednesday. Oh, that's good news. Hello, Tank Baby. Welcome to the stream. How's it going today? Am I... did I throw out a winch? I am. I'm attached to this thing. I, I must have thrown out a winch and didn't notice, and now it's just a yank in this tree behind me. Because I can pull it or push it. Let's push it. Oh no. Oh. I was having too much fun with that. Doing good? What about me? I'm also doing well, thank you. See if this little bush can flip us. That's why you always carry little bushes around, guys. Okay? You don't need a big bush, you just need a little one. That's pretty funny. That bush flipped us over and then we flipped back over from it. Well, I guess technically it was my driving that flipped us over, but... Doing good? What about me? I'm also doing well, thank you. Just trying to make some more progress here. I think we have... what I say? 70... or 66% done overall in the game. Although the number doesn't really add up to me because... we're 66% done total completion. But it says we're 77% done in Arizona, and we're 76% done in Carpathians. And we're 100% done with Little Colorado. So, wouldn't that mean that we're between 76 and 77% or higher? Because the 76 and 77 are the two big regions, and then we're 100% on the, th the smaller one. So wouldn't that, by default, mean it's over 76%? I don't know. Maybe I'm not good at math, but that's not ma that math isn't mathing for me. Uh, is the Scout 800 a mod, or is it certain platforms? Uh, it came out on PC last week. It was supposed to come out on consoles this week, but I just read a couple of comments before I started streaming today that somebody said it was out on PS4 and PS5, and they said it was also out on Series X and S, so... The only one they didn't mention was, uh, Xbox One. So I'm not entirely sure if it's out on that. I don't know. You know, that's just, that's what I'm, that's what I heard from a couple of viewers, so I'm not sure how accurate it is, but... I heard it was supposed to come out this week on consoles. So I don't know. Maybe it hasn't come out yet, but no, it's definitely not a mod. It was uh, part of the map. Let's see, what one did I move? Scout 800? Oh, War Dog, okay. Scan the rift with a drone.
So we gotta get pretty close with this because normally the operator we have is not here. As I normally refer to her as the drone girl. But yeah, if you go to the uh, if you go to the store, Blaine, it should just be there. If you if you have your game and it's up to date, it might just be an update that you need. But yeah, it should just show up in the in the uh, the store if you go to the truck store. It'll just be there if it's if your game's uh, up to date and it's out. It might be up to date, but you, uh, it might not be out on consoles. That's just what I heard from people that it was, but I can't confirm it. I don't have uh, the game on console myself, so. I don't know, maybe somebody else here that has the game might know if it's out on consoles. Or could uh, confirm if those comments were factual or lying. Trying to get this tree, but it keeps attaching to all the little trees. Crap. There we go. But yeah, one of the comments I got earlier today was, is that vehicle, or are you going to show us how to get that vehicle? Because uh, I, you know, I said that the vehicle was out, but someone was like, well, you didn't show us how to get it. And I was like, well, yeah, it's just, uh, you can just buy it in the store. It's just available if your game is up to date and it's out. Because again, I don't know if it's out on all platforms or not. Alright, let's see if we can find a good way through here. Skip some time as well. Looks like you're actually supposed to go up and around, huh? I've always just gone straight through the trees. Let's do this. Yeah, we'll go up here. And then maybe go down there somehow. I see a nice path right through here. The tree like sucked me around it, like the branches kept me turning to the right. I'm going to deflate just a bit. Hopefully get a little better grip on the sides here. Hello ATL, how's it going today? Welcome to the stream. We are just uh, trying to complete some more random stuff, I guess you could call it, here in Carpathians and in Arizona. I haven't gone to Arizona yet today, but that is the plan, just kind of finishing off tasks and contracts 
and finding upgrades. There's still one expedition we have, but for some reason it's like bugged for me. Just does not want to complete. Oh, I was just about to say, how did we make it down that without rolling? And then I rolled it. I was feeling pretty good. I was like, yes, we made it all the way down. Ah, oh, welcome back, South Fang. We have switched maps now from Dormant Volcano. Now we're on Slip Rock Swamps. Oh no. Yep, did it again. Okay. Yeah, I saw that one. I'm going to keep going to the right. Yeah, I was going to say, I think I'll see if there's any to the right first. Nice, we got lucky and got right on it. Let's go more to the right. Looks like there's another body of water. Nice. Got lucky. Two out of three. Perfect. Oh, it's a stage. Oh, the other one's off behind us, okay. Um, yeah, we equipped different people because certain people can only do certain contracts or tasks, which they do not explain to you. But you just can't track them. If you have certain people, I forget what they're called, but we'll just say they're like experts. Uh, you need to have certain experts to be able to do certain things, which is kind of annoying. Because it doesn't tell you which one you need. But, yeah, we just switched to three of them that we never really use. I think it, it might be the first time I've ever used the one girl. The other girls I think I've used once or twice, but not really. You know, pretty, pretty rarely. Oops. Uh, so yeah, we're kind of just trying a different combination. Hopefully those three, since I hardly ever use them, uh, hopefully they allow me to... Oh, I can't... It wouldn't allow me to jack screw because my vehicle isn't quite flipped over all the way. Funny. Let me try... Not that. Ugh. So used to snow under control sometimes where you have to push B to back out of the winch to close the functions menu. Where in here you don't have to do that. You just start driving so I keep detaching the winch right when I attach it at some, you know, sometimes. Deliver supplies a portable rig? Oh no. Do I have a module? We do have a cargo drone, alright. Let's deliver a couple portable rigs. Just so we have some stuff. I don't know, just in case. Never know. High snorkel mount. Or high mount snorkel. Okay, let's go see which one of these we can track, if any. Oh, there we go. Fairy Tales. Unshakable Island. Unshakable. Unshakable. Looks like all these are not trackable. Here we go. Dormant Volcano. Dormant Volcano again. This one is one we can do. Well, looks like let's hop back to here. I'm going to shut this vehicle off and leave it here, though. 
Just because it's kind of out in the middle of nowhere, we'll recover one that's already at a base, like the Scout 800. So we'll recover that one to here. Why is it not allowing me to recover? Okay. Oh, it's Eastern. There we go. So it's just right up there. Oh god. That was bad. If you're wondering, I was not paying attention where I was going right there. I think I'm going to see if I can kind of get up here a cheeky way. Instead of driving all the way to the end of this... Uh, ridge, I guess. Mountain ridge. We're going to try and see if we can sneak up here. Although it looks a little less cheeky than I thought. I th thought we might need a bunch of... Uh, a bunch of anchor points to get up here, but it looks like we're doing doing fine without them. Nice, that'll save us a ton of time. Inflated the tires slightly, so we can go a little bit faster without taking damage. There we go, fully inflate now that we're up here at the top. Yeah, that saves us so much time. That probably just saved us like 20 minutes of driving down to the end of the end of the ridge and then back up. Oh, this tree. Alright, here we go. Oh, there's another, like, a miniature mine over here. Ugh, oh, too, too early. Two out of three. Oh, and even a third one. I've never really paid attention. I mean, I, I, I've drove past him because I saw a bridge up there, but... Hmm. Looks like we can, oh, yeah, you can pretty clearly see him on the map though. Is selling vehicles not a thing in this game? I'm just wondering because I've only played a little bit of it. No, you can sell vehicles. Um, I think... One second, let me quickly show you. So there's... So this one, do you see it's the Tuz Acteon SE? I don't know exactly what the SE stands for. It's either Supreme Edition or Special Edition or, you know, something along those lines. But they gave you four Special Edition vehicles if you pre-order the game. And apparently there was an exploit where you could sell the vehicles and then buy them back and sell them and somehow get money out of it. Um, and so now I believe they changed the cost of these ones to free if you were to sell them. So basically, you can you can buy them for a normal price, but if you sell them, you don't make any money somehow. I'm not sure. I remember just seeing zeros on somebody's screen. Maybe they messed around with the game files or something, but um, yeah, you can sell them and yeah, it's just just like SnowRunner. You can buy them and sell them at the same price. All right, let's uh, make our way down here. Oh boy, we're slipping. Might not have much of a choice on the way we go down, huh? Tomorrow, new DLC. That is correct, Alex. Tomorrow is the uh, Azov Adam DLC.
Perfect landing. What do you guys think? How much is the scouted 100 in this game? I think it's 35k. I did a video, oops. I did a video where I said, like the scouted 100 is out, you can buy it for this price. Here's some of the upgrades. It was like two minutes long, but I believe it was 35k. If you want to know for sure, you can check that video back out or I can try and show you when I go back to the garage next time, if I can remember. Might have just screwed myself. There we go. I was like putting that anchor point there. Might have just like pulled me a little bit too too much. Okay, let's do this. drive? Oh, I th for some reason I thought you said how much. I don't know why. I don't know how I got how much is it. Uh, it drives pretty good. It's uh, it's a lot more stable on here than in SnowRunner, which that's kind of most vehicles. They're all a lot more stable in my opinion. It has only three slots, which means it's not super useful if you want to try and carry a bunch of cargo, like a uh, Trying to think of what, like a uh, camera traps or something like that. Let's see if we can throw this up here. There we go. So yeah, I can only have three total slots. Actually, I think I can show you here in just a second. That one as well. Uh, if I go to my inventory, you only have three. So you can have jack screws, anchors, and then like one thing you want to carry. Whereas, oops, I have only other bigger vehicles on here, so this is not a fair comparison. But whereas this one uh, can have seven. Like I said, this is a bigger vehicle, obviously, so it's not completely fair. But uh, what are the other ones we have? The Acteon. This one has six. So three, three is really low, but if you have like, I think the R87 has five, Cutco Canyon has like four. Uh, three is the smallest. I think the, the Con Marshall has four and... Uh, I'm trying to think what, the Don 71 I think also has three. All right, let's go back. What was I here? No worries, I remember... Oh, shoot. I remember doing King of the Hill task in Black River, yeah. The uh, first person contest, I remember that one. And I got the Scotty Hunter stuck up a tree coming down the mountains. Oh, yeah. I know exactly what you mean. Like, you were driving and you ran over a tree, but it, like, sort of runs up the tree, basically. Let's see, sort of like this, let's see if I can do it. Kind of like that, but it that time it just ran straight over. But like, it kind of like runs up onto the tree and the tree almost flips it over and stuff. Portable rig? Ugh, bummer. So I just put portable rigs in this one, so let's recover this. Uh, Outposts and gates. Let's do, what is it, eastern? No. Oops. It was the bottom one. Bottom eastern one. Eastern outposts. There we go. You hate the contest in SnowRunner? 
I think that is most people. You were dangling from the top like an ornament? Oh, like you, you like drove off a cliff and got stuck in the top of a tree? I was thinking you ran over a smaller one and kind of got stuck on it. I've done that before. I've never gotten stuck either on really bad courses. Mm, reinforced fenders, okay. All right, let's see what else we got here, guys. We're, we're just basically going line by line. Okay, unshakable, unshakable, unshakable. Can't track, can't, 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 can't. Dormant volcano, dormant volcano. That's here. Okay, we got one here and here. Let's return the Tuz. And buy... What are we buying here? Portable Meteo Station? Should I buy two? I think the Tuz... The Warthog has one, so no, I think we'll go with the one. Let me quick switch to the Tuz though, because I think I forgot, I think I left it on. Yeah, I did. It's burning 3.6 a minute. There we go. Actually, now that I'm back in the Tuz, I might as well run it over there. Might have a screenshot somewhere. That would be pretty funny. I've never heard or seen that happen. I've seen a lot of stuff, but I've never seen somebody get their truck stuck in like the top of a tree. There we go. Oh shoot. Almost lost it. Alright, what do you guys think would be better? If I put a screenshot up of the Azov Atom for tomorrow's stream... Like a... Obviously I don't have any like... You know... Oops, let's go up here. Obviously I don't have any like early access to play with the truck or anything, so I don't have... I can't go out and get a screenshot, but I could take one that they've already released of it and throw it up and just say, you know, like some Azov testing or gameplay or whatever. Or should I wait till tomorrow when it comes out, go and pick a random screenshot and throw it up? I think I'll probably just take one of theirs and just use it. They're pretty good usually. Yikes. down this place before. Wait, why did I mark? Okay. It's like right here. Just use theirs, you think so? That's what I thought. Because otherwise I gotta wait till it comes out and then play around with it for a little bit to go get a screenshot. Probably just easier to use one they already have. Thanks for the feedback, Belt of Justice. Appreciate that. 
Also, welcome to the stream, because I don't think I've ever seen your name before. Sometimes the camera goes whack when you're climbing at such steep angles. That was one of those times. But also it allows me to, cr to create the stream much earlier. Because I could create the stream right now. You know, I could th I could put up their put up their thumbnail, schedule it for sometime tomorrow, and then whenever it comes out I can just start playing with it. But if I waited till then, I'd have to wait till they release it. And then go mess around with it, get a screenshot, go create it, you know, a little bit push the time back a little bit basically is what it's doing. All right, that is done. Let's shut the shut the vehicle down. Let's go get the Acteon. And let's bring the time back. I'm in Cola Peninsula right now. So this new truck might help a lot. Yeah, Cola's a, a fairly tough region. I think... I'm trying to think, because Nathan Province made a... a what do you call it, a uh, tier list for the different uh, things, uh, different regions. I think Cola was probably number two. I can't remember. I know I've watched his, uh, he made one like a year ago and then he made an updated one with the newest four seasons. A couple of places, a couple of regions moved a little bit, but I think Cola was up there on both of them. No worries, I've been here before. You told me about Snow Render. Okay. Sorry about that. And how to find the Expeditions map. Yeah, actually, your name does sound familiar. For some reason, the belt fed part kind of rings a bell, but it's been a few times, so I just didn't remember it until you kind of mentioned it. But yeah, glad to help you out. Glad you're back. Thanks for stopping in. <laughs> Well, that was a little bit too late. Pop some, or took some damage on the tires. You found it, had to scroll um, through five months worth of friends' Discord chat. Yikes. I watched Nathan Province, and yes, Cola was up there. Okay. Yeah, if anybody hasn't seen it, I'd suggest checking it out if you're into SnowRunner. Most most people probably know about Nathan, but if not, yeah, go check Nathan's video out. He does great work. The other day I watched... Oh. Nice. The other day I watched one of his streams, and, uh... I usually comment, and I comment like two, three, four, five times, whatever, like... If I if I do make one comment, I comment like five times, but if I don't make a comment, then I'm just kind of quiet. Uh, and this time I had like a whole paragraph typed up of like... Because I'm trying to make it all into one comment, I guess. And then my phone died. I lost all of it, and I was like... Well, I guess I'm not putting a comment on this one then. But I had like... Yeah, like a whole paragraph typed up and then... But yeah, that's one thing. As uh, creators, we don't know who watches our videos unless we receive comments or, you know, are able to somehow read your names. So through a super chat or, you know, some something like that where it says your name. If you just put a like, we have no idea. But that's where we kind of are able to build a relation with people if they if they put comments all the time you kind of recognize the name of people who've been there you know oh this guy's left 30 comments on my channel now or whatever so 
I know it's kind of random, but... South thing you like, Nathan? Yeah, he's good. Okay. Uh, let's see. We can go up this way. And there. Hopefully. <laughs> Yeah, I like to listen to your streams while at work welding. I don't always catch them live, but I listen to a lot of the past ones. Oh, thank you. Ouch. Uh, what kind of welding do you do? My brother and my dad... Well... I guess my dad doesn't weld anymore, but he went to school for welding. Um, and so did my brother, but he's currently a welder. that up. Holy, you've done like five or six tasks and I finally found the yarn. Nice, Ringo. Yeah, the yarn's in the bottom right corner of Dormant Volcano. <laughs> Tank Baby agrees as well. The lurkers are coming out of the woodwork now. All right, deliver supplies. But that's a big reinforced bumper. I think it popped up real quick. Yep, big reinforced brump bu or front bumper. Okay. I know we keep doing this, but let's see. What other ones we got left? Start tracking. Okay, dormant. Dormant again. Oh, that's here. Range finders. I think I have a range finder in here, don't I? Oh no, I don't have any. Warthog, do I? Trucks. Now I have a portable meteor station. This one might be the closest. Range. Here we go. Maybe, maybe not. We have the yard. The R is really good when it's upgraded. It has a ton of slots to carry stuff. The R might might just be the best scout truck in this one. I have a lot of fun using the uh, the Con Marshall, but that one only has two slots, or uh, excuse me, four slots. Um, that's just like internal carrying capacity. But if you talk about like. Uh, uh, what is it? Roof rack, side racks, um, all that kind of stuff. The R has a ton of space. The the loaf actually has more, but I haven't. I don't think I found the top engine yet for the loaf, and so for me, it's been not a great truck. It struggles when you have that much weight without the top engine. I've heard it's good with the top engine, but I still haven't found it. So. Oh, nice. I went to school for welding after I got out of the army in 2017. Currently I'm doing aluminum TIG welding on various random brackets I use to weld uh, aftermarket aluminum Jeep bumpers. Nice.
Alright, could probably... Yeah. Ouch. I feel like we're actually making pretty good progress today. I know we probably still got a lot left, but I feel like we're making good progress. Okay, where are we going to go up this mountain now? I didn't think about that. Oh, I can go over here. Back. Ah, oh, crap. Delete all those. Go here, 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 here. And then we'll have to figure out how to get over there. So I probably should have crossed the river south more. Oh my god. That tree just destroyed our truck. It's funny because it's like... We were barely going anywhere fast, right? And absolutely just... Was it like 70 damage or something? Alright, I believe this is the slope we we're turning up at. Oh, I think I just got the rock crawler suspension in the last video for the Tatra T815 as well, the Force. I don't know if I ever equipped that. That was weird. I tried to mark it and it, it took off towards the second point right as I did it. So it marked like way beyond it. Okay. And then now we gotta go over to here somehow. I think we might just try and go down here and up and over and see if that works. Oh, the camera trap's right in our way, or rangefinder. That was weird on my phone, your stream ended, but on my TV you're still going? That is very odd. I wonder what happened, did I have a... Oh. Yeah, it looks like I must have had a 
bad connection for something. It, it says my uh, stream is lagging quite a lot. Or it did at some point. It was pretty low for a long time and all of a sudden it's way up there. So it must have got laggy and kicked a few people out or something. That's one thing you hate about snow runner. The damage affects your... Uh, you drive over a bush and all your suspension is half. Yeah. You lagged earlier. Yeah, because it's, it's showing 25% of my frames got dropped. And it was at like 2% earlier. Last time I looked it was like 2.7. So I don't know if it just dropped a ton of frames there for a bit or what. Cause I don't even know how, how I could go up that high, 25%, like... That would mean I dropped 25% of my frames over the entire stream, it would mean like a half an hour of frame loss. I don't think it was that bad, but... I don't know. I think the number might be off. Alright, I didn't get a chance to check that one. Lift kit, nice. We got a suspension. Yeah, I drove on a pebble the other day, took out 75% or 70% of my suspension and one tire. The worst is once your suspension's gone and then it starts taking your fuel tank. Like uh Blaine just said half your gas is gone. It's like, oh come on. Okay, we gotta go up here for one. Is this where we are? Why does it keep going away? Okay. Let's go with the Scout 800. Let's see if this... Actually, no. I gotta switch back to this one, shut it off, park it. Now we can go look for a equipment box. I don't think it's gonna be this first one, but I'd rather rule it out because this one should be easy to get to. The blue Doritos are the worst. They fly up, cripple your truck. It's like a crocodile attack. That's a good way of describing it. it just comes out of nowhere, bites you, pulls you back in the water. Yep, that's what I figured this was not the one. So that one is much closer to this truck. Happened a lot in the Mandra, I can imagine. Yeah, any place you're driving along on a lot of ice chunks, which Obviously you need an icy map for them to be ice chunks, but the harder the map, the more you follow those ice trails, right? And then the more you follow them, the more likely you are to flip over from one popping up and biting your ankles. I 
Uh oh. I thought I'd be able to make that. Looks like I'm digging my nose in. There we go. Uh, did you get the, the rocket delivered, South Fang? It's been a few days. I know you said you were giving up for, was it Fry... Friday? Yeah. Okay, and now this has got to go back to our base camp, which makes that easy. We can just recover. Oh, wait. Is that our base? Yeah, it is. Outposts. Eastern one. There we go. Oh wait, next action. I think that was it. Yep. Hold. Store. No. Hold to the next action. Deliver supplies. Here we go. Heavy fenders. Nice. Yep, the big green as of seven solved it. Nice. Okay, again, we're just gonna kinda try to go through your dormant volcano, dormant volcano, mountain labyrinths. Now I think we're into all mountains. Well, that's that's all the contracts we got left. Tasks, we got unshakable, unshakable, and unshakable. So we gotta go to unshakable island. It looks like I think we've done everything there is to do here. Okay, let's just quickly actually check the map again. Just see, I don't see anything else here. Looks like we are done. Let's go to Unshakable. 71,000 for that. So we sold a few items we bought. Lost some money probably, but that's fine. Did Trust Professionals, Eye on the Distance, Unpredictable Weather, Sunken Treasures, Negative Changes. All right, unshakable island. The boar was very helpful in the icy bits. The high saddle position was a big help. Nice. So you use the boar and the as of seven to get it done. Yeah. So this the yard does have five. Oh, somebody asked how much the. Uh, oh wait, no, that wasn't how much. It was how is the uh, scout eighty seven. Er. Scout 800. <laughs> oh, here, let's see if... Did I put the, uh... Raised suspension on here? I don't know if I did. Here we go. Lift kit, rock crawler. Nice. Got the off-road gearbox as well, finally. Use the 605R on the rest of it. That makes sense. Touch 805 would be a little bit, little bit of fun if it had a bed, but it doesn't have a bed, so it's only uh, good for repairs, really. All right, we got to equip the three girls we don't usually use. We don't usually use a mechanic. Well, actually, we don't have to equip the girls, but. Um, wait. Logistician and a manager. Actually, I might as well just equip this with some random stuff here as well, right? So we have no idea what we'll need. So, I don't know. <laughs> At least we got some stuff. Let's do... Oops, not fuel. Sell. So. 
It looks good to me. All right, we'll split them up. Let's do two, two of them up here. Warthog and Scout 800. You're the first two on the list. The winter maps are hard, but you admire the beauty of them for sure. The winter maps might be a little bit tougher, but they look great. Okay, here we go. Examine the house. Oh my gosh, look at all these ones. Living on the edge, just a whole slew of them over there. Amir is beautiful and deadly. Yeah, let's skip some time. Yeah, Amir is the hardest, but the views are great. I still think... Uh, yeah, Mateo was here, but he had to go to a meeting. Um, it's been probably an hour. I'm not sure exactly how long he's been gone for, but... He was here for a good half hour, 45 minutes, maybe even longer, maybe an hour. And then he had to go. So I'd say it's probably been an hour since he left. Hour and a half even, something like that. Let's turn on that. But yeah, he stopped and he was here right at the start of the stream. Tank baby. He was either the first or second one. I think he was the second one to leave a comment because I had two people here waiting and I was a little bit late today, so... I took random damage when I'm in the screen. What was that? Did you guys see that? Literally, in the middle of doing this, I took damage. Oh, come on. It's right on the end. <laughs> South thing. Yeah, what was that? Random damage while I'm in the screen? Oh, now my screen just shook too. When I got out of it. Take a photo of the mushrooms. That's one for the X-Files. Is this the way through? No, I probably should go up and around. That's the thing, I've gone through there before, like you can go straight through, you can kind of make your own roads, but sometimes there's clear paths like this and it's just much faster if you follow them. Oh boy. This might be the fastest I've ever gotten up to on this game. We were cruising pretty good there for a second. Come on. I think I'm stuck on the tree roots in front of me. Yep, front end. Here we go. Somehow we were able to climb it. I don't know how, because we didn't get our <laughs> truck didn't get any taller. Are you serious? Take a photo of the mushrooms. Wow. Did 
Okay, we gotta go there and there. Let's flip back to the scout 800. That was close. One, two, one. There's mushrooms around here somewhere. Oh, right there. Nice, I got lucky. Got the first uh, first one and second one right away. Hello, Zing. Welcome to the stream. How's it going today? What do we got here? Scan the drone? Or scan a rift with a drone. Well, the truck's pretty close to that. Let's go back to the war dog. The music is nice in this region, you like it? Dinner prep, peace, my peeps. Till next time, ever forward runners, thanks lessons. Appreciate you stopping by as always. I blew a tire for you right on the way out. But uh, yeah, have a good rest of your night lessons. See you again soon. Smokable for uh, Tank Baby. Kind of feeling like crap, but otherwise good. Yeah, I kind of felt like that last week. Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday didn't feel so great. Actually, on Saturday. I started feeling better Sunday. And now today I feel fine. But yeah, I remember on Thursday Thursday and Friday's stream, both of them I said, like, oh, I don't feel so great, but... Uh, Wednesdays I didn't say anything, but I remember I wasn't feeling too good. Off-road vibes. Exterior sticker. Can't do that one. Can't do that one. That one. What is this? The bear claw. Take a photo of the surrounding rocks. When we checked earlier on streamsing, we were 66% done. But we've gotten a good good amount of stuff done here, I would say, so I think we're probably more than that. Man, I don't know what I even want to play right now. I'm not in the mood for anything. I've been there, Tank Baby. Um, I think it was you that said a few weeks ago, do you guys ever, like, get into your head of where you... You're at work and you're thinking about playing a game all day. And then you get home and you play that game and you're like, that wasn't as fun as I thought it was going to be. And then you switch games and you play it again. But, you know, some other game and you're like, ah. When I, was when I was playing that other game and I was bored, that one sounded way more fun. But now that I'm playing it, this doesn't sound very much fun either. And you just kind of flip through like five games and you're like, I don't, I don't really feel like playing anything right now. What do you guys plan to do with multiplayer? To be honest, I probably won't affect me at all. I don't really play anything multiplayer. I've always pretty much played by myself, so... Yeah, you've been through that. You can understand the struggle. Because, yeah, you're at work all day and you're just making a game sound so good in your head. You get home and you start on it and you're like, 
yeah, this, this is not what I was expecting or hoping for. Like, this, this isn't as fun as I thought in my head. What am I stuck on? Hmm. Is that an airdrop? Looks like it. Uh, yes, it says Blaine. Blaine's been through it as well, looks like. Um, in just three hours, I think I played ATS CMS21. FS22. Oh, I'm already full. Let's see if we can fix up our truck, maybe. And Hell Divers 2 and Snowrunner. Jeez, you went through a lot of them, didn't you? I don't know... I was gonna say, I don't know what uh, that is. So Car Mechanic Sim 21. I did not know that. But the rest of them, yeah, Farm Sim, American Truck Sim. And yes, yeah, Snowrunner Hill Diver, so. I don't know what to tell you, Tank. Maybe play an old game? Play something you haven't played in years? Play some TF2? I don't know if you ever got into that one. Probably That's probably before your time. That game, well, it still has a lot of players playing it. Exactly, am I headed? I don't know. Kind of just driving. Oh, I thought I was in I thought I was in this swamp and went backwards. I'm like, no, but okay, I'm coming up to this swamp. Probably want to go like up here maybe. No, actually no. Go out through here. Go down to here. Oh no. Here, I see. And then if we have to send it, we can go down there and get it. Used to play TF2 for a bit. Don't feel like reinstalling it though. Yeah, that's fair. I only done 27 expeditions in Arizona maps so far. That's pretty good. That's a pretty good amount of uh, progress there in Arizona. I mean, it depends on how much other stuff you got done, but just 27 expeditions, those take quite a bit. Those are longer than a lot of the tasks and contracts, so. Yeah, if you got those done, that's good news. Uh-oh. Ooh, that was close. Look at 2K23, is that uh, NBA? Okay, let me skip some time. 
up here to the right, okay. A couple of games I'll never play are Dark Souls games. <laughs> yeah, I've heard those are like notoriously hard. Uh, my old roommate used to play one. I never played it, but I watched him get absolutely frustrated by it. And I was like, yeah, that doesn't really look like that much fun. Like, the, uh, like, sword fighting and whatever looks kind of fun, but it seems like the game's a little bit too hard to be fun. Although, I've kind of become more of a enjoying, enjoying the hard kind of games now. So I might actually like those kind of games. It still doesn't seem like it'd be the type of game that I would probably enjoy, but the hardness I might like. Souls games are not for you either. Yeah, I passed on it at the time. He's like, you want to play? I was like, nope. I think he was trying to coax me into playing because he was so frustrated with playing it. He was like, here, you want to play? You think you can do better? Because I was kind of just laughing like, oh god. He's over there getting so frustrated and annoyed and it's like, I don't know. I was like, yeah, you want to try it? Like, no, I'm good. I'm, I'm having, I'm just fine watching you get frustrated there playing. All right, here we go. Take a picture of the interesting rocks. Let's see if we can uh, bring some clarity to this, maybe. I don't know why those are interesting, but okay. Forest Conqueror. Another one down. So I must not have the person for this one, because I can't do those ones. What about this one? Install a bunch of camera traps. We could do that one, or what is this? Magistry Mountain? Why am I not seeing it? What? Majesty of the Mountains. Oh, that's an airdrop. I'm so confused why it's not showing up somewhere though. Okay, whatever. Okay, how many camera traps? One, two, three, four camera traps. Let's go... Back to our trucks. We're gonna need four camera traps. Let's sell this. There we go. Yeah, NBA, okay. Uh, yeah, Souls games are not for me either, says South Thing. Yeah, not really my kind of game either, but I think now I might enjoy the challenge. I've kind of grown to like the, the more challenge of the games. Before, I used to like to play games like I would play like Madden or something, but I would play it on Rookie and just like smash the other team to get my team's good stats. But then after a while, my friend always used to say like, how is that even fun? I was like, I don't know, just throwing touchdowns left and right, but... Yeah, after a while I started moving it up to like, I started to play on all Madden, but I usually would lose. Well, not, well yeah, I guess I, I lost more than I won, so usually, yeah. But I, I won about half the games. But yeah, I think now I would probably enjoy the Souls games if they were more of my type of game. I would, I would enjoy the difficulty, but I don't think I'd enjoy running around slicing like weird creatures and whatever. 
I think I enjoyed parts of it, but not the not that not that specific game. Sword fighting isn't hard for me. My buddies do it all the time. <laughs> or isn't that hard? Me and my buddies do it all the time. Nice. Had to reread that one. I sometimes play Vermintide. I've never heard of that game. Two with my friend, but it is very stressful to me, and I like to chill these days. I've never heard of it. What is it about? Is it like a horror horror game? Warhammer Fantasy. Hmm. Oh, wait, I'm missing one of the points right here. Install a camera trap. I almost drove right past it. Co op against a horde of rat men. Okay. That makes more sense about the vermin part now. Vermin tide, so like waves of waves of rats, vermin. Yeah. And AI made my rage imagine what Dark Souls would do. Or yeah, made my rage. Hmm. It looks like I could go in here and up this way. Yeah, that's probably what I should do, huh? Maybe go out to here. This way. Something like that. Let's try it. You're so glad you're done with an AI. Ouch. I mean, my NAI experience was pretty good, but I'm also glad that I'm done with it. I am really stuck by this darn rock here. Very rewarding once you're done with it, though. Yeah. It's just nice once you get out of there, you're like, oh man, I moved this big trailer, I got this fuel station up, like, you're kind of, like I said, feels rewarding a little bit. I am having troubles climbing this slope. It's up and very, very slanted. Cosmodrome is still hard, but feels like a breeze compared to any uh, Yeah, that's where I'm at, Cosmodrome now. And at least if you get stuck in Cosmodrome, you got a garage there, you can kind of bring out some more vehicles that are, like, not too far away. If you get stuck in, uh, any like, you're... I mean, you could have closer trucks, but if you have to come from the garage, you have like an hour trip just to get there. 
That's, that's not counting rescue time, you know, that's just getting there. So it's like, take an hour to get there, an hour to get back, another half hour of rescue time or whatever it, you know, happens to take. The garage helps a ton. So that was like super laggy and then it just like froze, but let's skip it. Oh, we, oh, I was gonna say, oh, we can't, but no, there we go. That was super laggy. Kind of an interesting little route here. All the crevice rock there. Alright, uh, fuel station is so pointless. Uh, yikes. Uh, in NAI, because how many times you go up there? Yeah, it's really tough to get to, isn't it? Yeah, it is hard until you unlock the garage. Oh wait, there's one. Oh, that's a, that's a, oh wait. We can pick up the camera traps, it looks like. Find an airdrop. I don't need the camera traps. I didn't know that was optional. I just grabbed a bunch when I left. What did I hit? That's weird. This tree to my left is like super solid. All the branches and stuff. I can go over that or not. Yeah, see this tree? It's like super solid. Fixed, fueled, switch the time, good to go. I remember flipping the truck with the last planks. Oh boy. To unlock the garage in Amandra and had to drive all the way from Lake Cobb to rescue it. Yeah, that's true too. Nice new airdrop, okay. Hmm, we'll take extra fuel just in case. This looks like it's really tight. I think I'm gonna climb up and over right here. I wasn't expecting that to go that easily, but perfect. Yeah, those wood planks, I remember they had to go to kind of rough spots.
Another airdrop, nice. I'll take like the tiniest bit of fuel out of there. Once you get the garage, it's like Urska River. Yeah, honestly, it's not bad once you get the garage, because the probably getting the garage is the hardest part. Like the contracts to unlock the garage are probably the hardest ones in that region. Wait, what? I missed it? Oh, the other one is up the hill here, okay. I took a guess and I guessed wrong. Garage. And then once you get the garage, it's kind of... Um, yeah, it looks like I lost connection there for a second. It completely cut out. Yeah, so everybody, everyone lost connection. Well, not lost connection, but froze for a second, yeah. It's... It went all the way green, now it's all the way red again. But yeah, it could, could be my nephew's tank. Uh, one of them's in the other room playing. It's usually when they're both home and they're using up a ton of internet when one of them's home, it's kind of hit or miss. My game is just laggy super bad too, look at that. Like froze again. I clicked skip. Oh, there we go. Twin snorkels in view of public. He's probably Canadian too, easier to blame. Alright, let's try this. What is this? Towering attractions. Take a photo of the tower. That's like right up to my side. Uh, yeah, I don't know if you if you caught it, Mr. Spoon, or if the lag made you miss it, but I did try a couple different suggestions from people on how to get that expedition to work, and none of them have worked. I can't remember exactly what all the things that I've tried, but I had like four different suggestions. I remember one of them was switching the times, try, try different times to do it. Uh, the one I tried today was about trying resetting my settings back to default to see if that was messing with it somehow. That didn't seem to work. Here. Uh, I don't think they've released a time. If they have, I missed it, South Thing. So if it is June, that that's news to me. I didn't I never uh, saw that. Conduct a visual inspection of the... Oh, another tower. 
Let's use this Acteon. Yeah, let's go use the Acteon. That's closer. Just a guess on my part. Okay. Yeah, I have zero clue. I, I don't think they've set a time. If they have, I missed that, so... Hey Ricardo, hello back, welcome back Bryce. How are you guys doing? Bryce, glad to hear that. Bryce, are you going to get the new Azov truck that comes out tomorrow? damage numbers there. Okay, let's go down the hill here. Just because I remember there's a tough part right up there. And I don't feel like trying to climb it. Let's see if we can go around. Might be able to just climb up through here somewhere. Maybe up over here and then up here. And then back this way. Not sure how we'd get up to the top there. Because this whole rocky pass looks pretty bad. Probably will just go up, go up the side here or something. Maybe something like this. You don't know, but you hope so. Okay. Plane says I'm gonna buy it when I get home from work. Nice. Yeah, I'm interested to see if it has a uh, if it has a crane three slot bed capability, and if it does have a crane three slot bed capability, is it crane trailer and bed, or is it just crane and bed? Because if it's three slots with a trailer and a crane, that could be pretty good. South Bank, same here. Okay. Left until the rocks with the supplies. 
and come back in from the back. We left until supplies. I I don't see any supplies on here. Must mean like that. That's the way you got up there? It'll probably take longer to release. Uh, I don't think so, Bryce. They said the date last week with that one. So, I think if they weren't sure, they would have... Is this a climb or is this a, a rock slide clear? Oh, okay. Thanks for that, Ringo. For some reason, I was thinking it was a climb. I don't know why I was thinking it was a climb, but for some reason I was. Thanks for the tip, that made it way easier to climb up here. Oh, because you're on Nintendo Switch. I got you. Yep. So it'll take longer for you to get it on there. That might be true. That should be it. Three times charm always. Dang, 20,000 for that one? What is this? So that one is locked because we don't have the right person for that one. So we'll certainly have to come back. I still don't know what this one is. Anyways, we got this truck here. We got living on the edge. Install light beacons. Do we have light beacons? We have camera traps. Hmm, all right. Yeah, sometimes I forget that, Bryce. That's a mistake that I make pretty often. Because I think like, oh yeah, it's coming up tomorrow. It's, you know, it's going to be available for everyone. When normally it's like, no, it's PCs. And then it's PlayStation, Xbox. And then, after a while, Switch. Okay, light beacon. Oops, let's, uh, how many do we need? Four total. Okay, let's do, do we have two and two? No, we have one. All right, let's see if it's possible to... Modules. Cargo drone. Oops, let's put this. I can't take it out, huh? Hmm. What did it ask for? Light beacons? I already forgot. Okay, light beacon there. Probably have to drone out another light beacon and then we'll. I think for the last one, what I'm gonna do is uh, use up our anchor points. Let's drone out another one. It's a waste of uh, fuel, but at least we don't have to pay for it. I'm in the way. Oh, okay, there we go. We got a little light beacon there. I think it was season 10 came out two to three months. 
I don't think the seasons have ever been late, have they? What truck is that and what map is it in? Uh, this is the AFIM and it's in Arizona. I gotta think, it's on... Let's see, I think it's Coconino. I'd have to check back. I, I know exactly which map it is if I see the map, but I don't know off the top of my head the name of if I got it right. So Sonoran Desert was the Bandit, I think. I think Wawi Bay was the Tatra 805, so I'm pretty sure this one was Coconino, if I remember right. Yar is a beast, makes so much more fun now that I have that unlocked. Just need to find some upgrades. Yeah, the R is a beast for sure. It has so many cargo slots. I mean, you get some good tires and suspension and all that. I mean, the truck is good stock, so... Alright, let's uh, throw out a bunch of uh, anchor points here, I guess. Hopefully we don't need them. And now we can drone in the last thing we need here. Dubs says it is Coconino. Okay, thank you Dubs. Here we go. Skip some time here as well. So you're saying season 10 was two to three months after release before you got it on Switch? Oh gosh. Of course I get rid of them right at the last second here and now it's like really rough territory. Oh boy. and winch. This is the ones I was trying to get right up there. Crap. Okay. Don't ask me how we managed to get through that. We somehow turned around our truck. But well, we did it. Good save. Thank you, South Fang. It's kind of funny, we got our truck completely turned around, 180, split the trees to get up. That's an odd path going through there. Alright, last light beacon for this one. Heavy bull bar bumper. Alright, what else is this? Demon of the Bat Caves. Can't do that one. What is this one? Demon of the Bat Cave. Can't. Can't do that. Can't do that. 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 Here's one. That's Dormant Volcano. Dormant Volcano. Mountain Lambreth. Most of them we can't track or they're not here. Okay, that's all of them. What about this? What is this? Okay, I think we did everything we can do here except for... Oh yeah, I think we did everything we can do here, actually. The other ones, we need different people for like this one to do in the footsteps, stuff like that. Let's check our profile. What are we at? 87% now. Wow, we're getting up there. We are missing nine upgrades, guys. Nine. So we got one expedition, 
13 contracts, two tasks, and what did I say, nine, nine upgrades left. So we are 78 and 87. Let's return to the headquarters here. We need 61,000 from that. Let's back all the way out, see what we're at. Anybody else just enjoy rock crawling around in free roam or am I the weird one? No, I've done that. It is kind of fun to just pick a spot on the map and be like, I'm going to try and go all the way up there, like way up on the side of the map where it's like, you're probably not supposed to go there. Oh wait, actually, uh, let's, so we're 70% 70, 70 total completion. Uh, who was it that was just asking about... Oh, Blaine. Okay, here, I'll show you Blaine. So, Coco Nino. Yeah, it is Coco Nino. Um, so here, the truck is right in this little swamp right here. Basically, if you go north from this uh, outpost, if you have it, and you go straight to the west, it's in this swamp. You'll have to take it all the way back up to this. Does the Mac Defense have a mod? Yeah, there is there is Mac Defense mods. Uh, I, the Mac Defense that I use isn't a mod, if that's what you mean. The one for SnowRunner. By the way, if anybody's wondering, this game has a proving grounds like map where you can kind of mess around with stuff. Pretty cool. Don 71 is probably not the best of vehicles for this. They don't have the Mac Defense on PS4. Um, it must not be a console mod, I guess. I, I I know they have them on PC, but yeah, I haven't. Uh, I guess I haven't checked. I don't really use mods, so I guess I couldn't really tell you the answer for that one. So. That was quick. <laughs> but, uh, alright guys, I think that's where we're going to end it. We still got a little bit to go. Overall percentage is 70. Almost done with the Carpathians here. But yeah, tomorrow we'll be playing SnowRunner. We'll be doing sort of a... I guess you could call it testing, but just sort of messing around more with the, uh... Azaf Adam, the new truck that's coming in to the game of SnowRunner tomorrow. So if you guys are interested in checking out the Atom, we're going to send it through some, you know, Alaskan mud pits uh, mud. Send it over some rocks, some breakable ice. Um, send it up the ski hill in Season 10, the steeper one. See how it fares. But uh, yeah, thanks everybody for watching. It'll probably be... A little bit later stream tomorrow so I can work on a video quick beforehand, but probably not too much later. Maybe half hour or something. Thank you, Zing, Ricardo, Blaine, Beltfed, Southfang, Duds, Bryce, Ringo, Tank Baby, Lessons. I'm sure there's some other people here. Spoon, uh, Zeb. 
And yeah, I'm sure I've missed quite a few other people, but yeah, thanks everybody for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the stream and see you in the next one.